Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm sharing ideas on how I would use a five and a half inch circle die. I've sped this video up uh, two times normal so you can see. And in this first part, I folded an A2 card around my bottom cutting mat. And then I'm trying to figure out, I've never done this before where you fold the paper around your mat but I don't want it to cut the folding edge. So then I'm trying to get it run through. And in this one, I'm using my Big Shot instead of my Sidekick because obviously this die is too big to go through it. And then I'm gonna take it apart and show you what it looks like. This is my friend Noni's die and I was trying to give her ideas and she said, well, just show me. And that's actually how my whole channel started. So she she gets to do that. She buys stuff a lot and says, well, just show me. What I was trying to get her to see is it would make a neat like doily front on a card with this really neat holly and pine cone border. It's a little bit off and I should have spent a little bit more time laying it down so that it was straighter. And I'm just using Michael's 65 pound cardstock because I'm trying to get examples and experiment. So nothing too fancy. I probably wouldn't actually use these as cards, but I might, or I might just cut the front off. But look at that neat edge that it puts on there. And then just a quick fold. And I think that's really fun. And then if you didn't like the top, you could put like some pom-pom trim or some ribbon and cover it up just to add some interest. I think it's pretty cute. This is a three part die and I'll show you the different parts. Then I'm just giving an example of how you could finish out a card like this. Had a circle punch. The Mary and Bright, she got a new Mary and Bright die today. So she tried it out. So that would be an example, right? I'd probably go with a white circle or something metallic for more contrast. And then you could back that card in white. That's a full card base I just shoved in there but you could kind of get an idea. That's a pretty neat card, right? I actually might make a card like that. I like it. <laughs> My craft room is such a mess right now that that's just in a pile somewhere. I just set it off to the side when I was done making this video. Now I wanna do a different one where I cut the front and the back. And I'm gonna show you, I had a little trouble. Those of you who've watched my channel, you know that I don't like detailed dies. So I'll smack them on the counter, I'll poke the things out, but if I have to do this too many times, I, I won't use it. I had a die that was giving me attitude and I just mailed it to Sabrina K. <laughs> I don't know if it was the die or what, but I was just, I was done with it. I gave it to her. Then I'm trying to figure out, there's a couple different parts. I don't really know what's going on. See, it has the little border one. And this time I want it to cut on the fold. So I'm pushing it up so it will cut on the fold and give a nice decent centered part. But I, I don't want to go off on the bottom because I want to have the nice border, not a square weird edge. So you'll see it when it's done if you can't quite imagine it. So in this one, you don't have to wrap the paper around the cutting mat. In a minute, I'm going to realize that I don't have the cutting mat below my paper and die. I went out on a Wednesday night, you guys, in a world of crafting and relaxing where I have to remind myself to do things. I got home at midnight on a Wednesday night and the old dog is still getting up at 430. And it is currently, I don't know what time it is here almost eight o'clock the next night and I am wiped out and I am getting up crazy early again tomorrow to go meet Tasha from a date with my craft room. We're going to go to a thing in Washington state that's CKC. I think it's creating keepsakes convention, something like that. Anyway, a shopping extravaganza will meet up and have fun. So tomorrow is another day of fun, but wow. So when you see this video, I will be on my way or almost shopping. Okay, watch this and don't do it this way, right? I just got mad and threw it away. I took that paper, I folded it in half and I ran it through once because I ran it through once the first time and it worked fine. Well, I'm using two layers of paper this time, remember? Because I folded the card in half and set it on top of the cutting mat, not underneath. So if you upgrade your cardstock like if I switch to 120 from 65 
I'm going to need to run it through an extra time. If I double it, I'm going to run it through a bunch of extra times. So keep that in mind, especially on a detailed die. I know some people have like the, what's it called? That metal cutting, precision cutting plate, whatever. I don't have that. I don't do a lot of detailed dies. And I'm not sure if dies are the answer for me in the long run, or if I want to get some kind of uh, electronic cutting machine. My husband hates them. He says they make murderous sounds. But the I will tell you, the Brother Scan and Cut, that one is much, much quieter. So maybe he should just buy me a really fancy present. Okay, so I'm taping it down because also when you watch me, you'll see that I don't usually bother with tape in my dies and paper. But when you're doing something this detailed and you want it to stay where it is on that paper, you really need to tape it down. And then I'm going to fight with that big shot and run it back and forth a couple times. And we'll see. I have another one of my fancy sweatshirts on for you guys today. <laughs> I hope everybody has had a really good week. I have, it's just been so, so busy. It, it's not bad. It's just busy. Now here, the layers, you know, I have two layers of paper. It's kind of tangled up and it's taped and there's a lot of detail. I shake things. A lot of it fell out that way. And then some of the points on the holly stuck. So I just grabbed my scissors and trimmed them down enough so that I could see where things were coming from and get an idea. I'm going to tidy it up a little and then I'll show you what it looks like. And this is just a style thing. Maybe you look at these two card samples and you go, no, this isn't for me. She also has a die just like this. Some of you might have it that is leaves. It's the fall version of this. It's like maple leaves. It's gorgeous too, but I went for the Christmas one. And these were hanging on the wall on her magnetic board, so I didn't see the package. I'm not sure what brand they are. But she might comment below and tell you if she remembers. Now here I am poking out all the little things in the pine cones and thinking, this is why I don't buy dyes like this. In fact, I'm not going to punch every single thing out so that you see it perfect and done. But in a minute, the video is going to slow down to like a regular speed and you'll be able to see them still. And I'm just going to show you two different ways. And then I'm going to show you the third piece of this and talk you through that. Okay, so see, that would be a neat card. You can put the white in. You could put something on the center like that. Or you could use the other one on that side that's more like a doily. This would be a cool bag topper too. You could just, you could even like cut that. The one on the right, you could cut it at the folded edge and then fold the front in half and top a bag with that and fold the back, I bet. And you could make two cute bag toppers out of it. I bet you could make it work. Or you could cut the giant thing in a big flat circle and make a big bag topper with that big one. So see, it also has a center cutting piece. I didn't use that because I wanted to leave the middles in, but you could use that and cut out the front and stamp your sentiment in the back. Or you could use it and make a shaker card. When you have dies that have these different pieces, imagine them sometimes with the center in, sometimes with the center out, different ways lots of choices. I hope you got some ideas and everybody have a great weekend. I will show you what Tasha and I were up to probably on Saturday. Bye-bye.